hello friends welcome to my youtube channel my name is sumit and i welcome all of you to bispeedtraining.com this is my next video in clicksense video series in this video i am going to demonstrate you that how can we download an online app from clicksense cloud and how can we edit it on by using clicksense desktop application tool why are we requiring this kind of situation because in clicksense cloud there are a lot of a lot of connections tools a lot of connectors which are not available online those are only available with our desktop solution desktop installer so that's why i decided to download an app from my clicksense cloud and customize it by using my desktop tool so let's begin the introduction part so as you can see here i have a click cloud environment and here i have a sample app named as bisp test app let me try to access this app and let's figure out the visualization or the sheets which i have already designed within this app it is ask me to log in so i'll just provide my details and log in again close it and click on app again you can see that's the app id because every app which we build which we create on cloud solution every app has got a unique id so that's the app and in this app i have got two sheets one is test sheet let's see the this sheet is empty there are nothing in the sheet i'll go to app overview and bisp sales sheet this contains only one chart which represents region wise sales so here i'm using sample superstore sales excel so i'm using that sales data and uh, that sales data i have uploaded online so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to download this app if i would like to customize this let's suppose i would like to uh, connect this app or connect the data to my sql server data which uh, which is not Uh, for that connector which is not available online so i wanted to download it on my desktop then customize it and then i can upload it back so for this first of all i'm going to download this app so i right click download and the form, the app which you download its format it is its extension is .qvf so i download this app and this app gets stored on my desktop named as bisp test app qvf now as you can see here i have clicksense desktop which i have already installed on my system so i'm going to open that app i'm going to access that app into this clicksense desktop the easiest way to access the app because as you can see here we don't have any option to low to open an existing app so the easiest way is simple drag and drop this app on your clicksense desktop so as soon as you drag and drop it says drop the app to open it and i drop my app here and the app will open <clears throat> so you can see i can access both the sheets along with the data now if i click on load data let's suppose i click on data load editor or data manager first of all i click on data manager so it's it says that there is we have one got one sales data but i'm getting i'm getting an error message that this table could not be loaded from the data source even if i click on load data it will throw an error message it says the data was not loaded because the error in the script please correct the script in the data load editor and reload the data so i open data load editor and i'm going to customize this data because the path is not available for this data set here there is one option coming auto generated section now it's a data load editor it's a kind of a script editor which we used to have in click view 
the only difference is it is more interactive and here i click on auto generator section so first of all to make changes into this i unlock it and this is the path of my folder this is the path of the file so i'm not getting uh, if again if i try to load it it will throw an error message the data has not been loaded because the file does not exist the path is wrong so i'm going to change this path i need to customize this path this so sample superstore sales access dot csv it resides on my desktop system and in my local in my desktop on my local system on my d drive in the under data set folder so let's have a look on my d drive on my d drive data set i have got this file sample superstore sales excel dot csv file so that's the path so i click on create a new connection and instead of connecting to any connectors I click on folder and get to the D drive, D drive, and the path is I set the path to data set and give a name to this folder as data set, data sets. This is a name and the the folder which this name uh, this folder is representing to is D drive data set. Now here I simply customize it. And instead of this whole path, I write data sets. Now, when I load it, it will look for this path, and under this path, it will get this file. It will extract this file and load the data. So I click on load data. You can see start loading the data, and the data has been loaded successfully. Eight thousand three hundred ninety-five lines have been fetched, and there are no issues, no errors. So I'll just close it, and now I get to the app overview or before that i just wanted to have a look whether data gets loaded or not successfully so i go to data manager click on tables i can see the table sales table and i click on app overview and open this bsp sales sheet you can see i am getting the data set i am getting the sheet here so the proper graph, the graph which I have added on my cloud solution, I am able to access the same on my desktop application as well. Now, if I want to perform some customization, I would like to uh, join this with some external data, with some SQL Server data or any other data that would be possible by going into Data Load Editor, and we can create new connections. We can create a new connection and connect to the connectors which are available here. If any connector which is not available and we want to load the data from any other data set, we can click on add data and in add data we have connect my data. So you can see there are a lot of connectors are available for cloud data, CSV files, SQL Server, Oracle, OLEDB, ODBC and QBD files, QBX file, REST APIs, web files, Teradata, Sybase and even Salesforce as well. And once we're done with that, we can close it. So whatever changes we have done, that changes will reflect in the data set in that app, app. And then we can upload this app again back on our cloud solution. So because we have an option here, we can upload an app. So you can see here, I click on new app and there's an option upload an app. So I can choose file from my local desktop bisp test app dot qbs that's the app and it will get uploaded and whatever customization we have done what we have applied on our desktop app that will be applicable here as well so that's all in this video i hope you found this video interesting if that's so don't forget to press like button if you have any comments you can pass your comments in comment window if you want to have a customized training on ClickSense, you can connect with us. That's all. Have a nice day. Keep watching. Bye.